Volleyball consumes most of our attention in Lincoln. It's Friday night, of course, which means we have an entirely different team spending all their energy on the high school football playoffs. Let's send it over to Kelsey Wilkinson and Spencer Schubert with more on tonight's action on the gridiron. Hey, hey boys. Thank you, Mason. You are not kidding. High school football season, the fear of pits is getting crazy every corner around the state. Yeah, we got to give Mason a chance to breathe. Get some water, Mason. It means a lot of a select few of us, a lot of driving all over the great part of Nebraska to make sure we catch all the highlights. So let's get right to it. We start in Class B. Hastings on the road. The Tigers are the 10 seed, and they have a date with second seed Waverly. The Vikings' first possession ends in a touchdown. Nathan Axman gets the pitch and he rides it out right. Ooh. He dives in for the first okay. score of the game. Seven to nothing Waverly. Later though, Hastings trying to come back. Tucker Sinek with the dot to Chance Burton, who's off to the races. Nobody's yep. going to catch him on his way in for six. Some more nice offense from the Tigers later. Sinek finding Cooper Cole rolling out first down Cooper for Hastings, Cole, but it is Waverly in this one boy. coming out on top. The two seed. 45 to 21 and another Hastings team on the road tonight. Adam Central on, taking Pets. on Ashlyn Greenwood. Big connection here early on from Jaden Teichmeyer to Jack Troush. But that's about all the offense we'd see Ooh, from the Adam touchdown. Central Patriots tonight. The Blue Jays command that side of the ball. Dane Jacobson finding Derek Tonges in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. That makes it seven to nothing. Then later Drake Zimmerman busting a run right up the middle makes a few pats miss. And he's gone. The Patriots do fall in this one, Kelsley, 34 to 8. Well, Boone Central hosting Auburn, and the Cardinals are getting high to get this one underway. And here's what the Cardinals coach was saying here Run, Bohr, run! And run he did. Parker Bohr finding room on the outside, getting the big gain on this play. The Cardinals on the first drive, and the student section wants more. And Bohr did not disappoint, already averaging over 150 yards rushing. And here he is chugging all the way to the end zone. Cardinals are are in control and they're grooving like Mark Barmer would say. And here's James Fogelman helping the Cardinals call game. It's all Boone Central here. They win this one in a blowout 56 to 7. Mm. Well to Cross County as they host Sandy Creek and the Cougars already up 16 a zip looking to add on to it and quarterback Ethan Schultz with a slick pitch over to Connor Rempe who got some room on the outside, eats up some yards and Sandy Creek find themselves in the red zone. But it is fourth and goal late in the second. Looking to add to it before the end of the half. Shaw searched, searched, and could not find a receiver. It's going to be turnovers on downs. But like the song says, first you don't succeed. Pick yourself up and try again. It is Shaw finding Grumpy, and this time he did not disappoint. He gets the touchdown. They win this one 44 to 24. That's a big boy win to go up to Cross County and win by 20. Out in Class A now, Grand Island looking to make it two straight upsets. The Islanders coming Islanders. off a road win win at Kearney, now at five seed Millard West, and the early deep shot here goes out to Jackson Williams. He gets behind the Gish secondary and is in for a mm. touchdown for the Wildcats. Later, Bodie Albers, he's scanning downfield and he's managing some routes out there as well. Finally lets one go. Riley Holling making the uncontested catch uh -oh. all the way at the end of this. Let's go ahead and let hey. it pad out. There's <laughs> Mr. Holling, but no upset today. For Grand Island, Millard West takes care of business. 31-7, your final. To the northeast part of the state we go. A little bit further north than Omaha even. Ooh, Top seed Norfolk Catholic taking on Carney Catholic tonight. The Knights looking to say goodnight early to the Stars. Carter Jansen keeps it himself. He's in for six. Norfolk Catholic far from done in this one, though. The Stars looking to respond with the ball in their hands. But Nolan Fennessy, he forces the fumble here. Oh, no. Then he pounces on fumble. it. That's heads up play there out of Norfolk Catholic. The Knights back in business in Carney Catholic territory. And then a few plays later, Jansen is going to trick out our own camera guy with the RPO. The See, that, that, that stands for run pass option. <laughs> He took the passing version of the play, and it works. No star in sight to stop it. Another Norfolk Catholic touchdown. Norfolk Catholic, they roll in a big way tonight over Carney Catholic, 55-7. to Well, Broken Bow is on the road at top seeded while who Warriors trying to avoid the upset. Indians get a touchdown from Bryce Chaplin as he rumbles into the end zone behind some blocks. Broken Bow trying to pull off the upset, though. But while who gets a big TD through the air. Jace Kaminsky, who throws it deep to Josh Ender, who makes the play as Broken Bow falls in a defense. Showdown 12 to 7. 
to Class D1. Now the top seed is Stanton Mustangs trying to stay perfect as they host Arapaho. Stanton didn't hesitate from the jump. First quarter, Barrett Wilkie says, if you're going to call it, I'm going to haul it. Look at him go 51 yards to the his house. Gets the two-point conversion. Mustangs are up 8-0. Later in the first, Arapaho's snap goes wild. The ball gets loose. And backer Pullman says, scoop. And he gets the scoop and the score. Mustangs are up 16 to 0. Ooh. Now in the second quarter, Barrett Wilkie, he got some serious speed and he is on gas, no brace, 63 yards to make it 32 to 6. And for all your Eagles fans, the brotherly shove made his way to Siouxland as it was a group effort to get this one. Wilkie gets in for the score. Stanton looked like the number one seed, 58-28. Ooh, the brotherly shove. I like that. <laughs> Ode to Philadelphia. All right, well, number three, Ord looking to keep their season alive against 60 Mitchell, the Chanticleers, getting on the board first in the first quarter. But first, before you do any of that, you got to run through the tape, folks. All right, the quarterback, <laughs> Dylan Hurlburt, calls his own number. He's got a ticket for six, and the chance just kept on coming, not only from the stands, but on the field as well. Trent McCain extends the Ord lead to 20 to nothing here in just minutes before the half. After that, it comes to a close. Ord tacking on one more score, and guess uh -oh. who? Hurlburt finding oh a wide open Blake Heinrichs in the end zone. Ord is moving on. Their season keeps trucking. They take out Mitchell. 47-21. Well, it's a Class D2 action. Central Valley on the road to take on South Loop. Picking things up in the first quarter. Central Valley Dirks. Nikola Zach finds the wide open Zayden Wolf as he will take it all the way to the end zone for the Cougars touchdown. But after a deep Central Valley kickoff, the Bobcats fumble the ball in the end zone for the Cougars safety. South Loop now back on offense though. It is Trey Connell who would hand it off to the sophomore Connell Paul who would take it over 50 yards as South Loops hold up to win it 28-22. Got to count all the yards there. There's yes, 49 sir. and 50 right there. There it was. All right, to Fillmore Central we go. The undefeated Panthers hosting five-seed Malcolm. Malcolm up 6 to nothing though, in the first quarter. They extend the lead. Maddox Meyer launching it deep. Logan McGreer Ooh. makes the adjustment. The 55-yard touchdown tough makes it 14 nothing. Clips. Second quarter, though. Malcolm driving, Meyer going deep, and it's picked off by Jaron Tweedy. Okay. He takes it all the way down to the three-yard line. Fillmore Central scoring on the very next play. It was 14-7 at the half. Second half, it's Meyer to McGreer McDouble. They That's connect again through the air, 20-7. Malcolm, Fillmore Central, though, they mount a monumental second half comeback. Oh, wow. They win it 30-20. to well, out west for Class D1 in the quarterfinal matchup. EMF trying to pull off the upset over North Class St. Pass and looking good early. Brecken Schulter is bouncing off the outside run. He will go for a touchdown. That's his 42nd rushing score on the year. Wow. And how about a wow. nice reverse play later? Driving pain. This is out for some pain. He scores. EMF goes on the road and pulls out the stunning upset. Folks, 44-28 win over the Irish and advance to the semifinals. That kid has 42 more rushing touchdowns than I did my entire football career, so <laughs> good to him. All right, well, definitely a tough night for quite a few of our local teams out there, but others still kicking in the semifinal round next week. That's right, but a busy night in high school sports is all wrapped up, but Ooh. not just high school sports going around. Mason no. has more for us. Mason, talk to me.